Hello viewers. I hope you guys are doing great. Today I am going to explain the Suzuki coupling reaction with mechanism. Let's see what is Suzuki coupling reactions. So this is a very important reaction and very nice and handy tool for the organic chemist. So the palladium catalyzed cross coupling reaction between organoboron compounds these are organoboron compounds uh, maybe boronic acid or boronic ester pinacolato ester and organic halides or triflets these are organic halides like if you think x is a chloro bromo or iodo or triflet group provide a powerful and general method for the formation of carbon carbon bonds a new carbon carbon bonds here you can see this is known as a Suzuki cross coupling reactions these reactions discovered by the Akira Suzuki and this is a palladium metal but normally palladium catalyst can be different types here I am showing only one kind of palladium catalyst like uh, it is in short say called tetrakis palladium phosphine catalyst and in presence of base solvent and heat these reactions occur to make a new carbon carbon bond and here r can be different things like alkyl allyl alkenyl alkanyl aryl etc and x can be chloro bromo iodo triflet o p o o r2 enol phosphate etc Base can be different choice, sodium carbonate, barium hydroxide, potassium phosphate, cesium carbonate, potassium carbonate, tellurium hydroxide, potassium fluoride, cesium fluoride, tetrabutyl fluoride, sodium hydroxide, and metal alkoxide. And this reaction was discovered by Akira Suzuki and also um, the similar kind of chemistry was done by Richard Frederick Haig and E. H. C. Nigishi. So in 2010, Suzuki shared Chemistry Nobel Prize with Haig and Nigishi for their contribution to the discovery and development of palladium catalyzed cross couplings in organic synthesis to make a new carbon carbon bond. It is widely used to synthesize polyolefin styrins and substituted biphenyls let's see how mechanism work so palladium in zero condition with having the ligand uh, react with the aryl bromide or alkyl bromide whatever the bromide present and then it form a palladium two condition oxidate oxidation state is two that means loss of electron the process is oxidation that's why this step is called oxidative addition so in between aryl and bromide group the palladium metal inserted here so that's why it is called oxidative addition and in the second step there is process called metathesis so the base whatever you are using here i am showing as an example of metal alkoxide so it changes this metal change the bromine from this position take out as a metal bromide and the counter ion of this base added in the palladium that's why it is called metathesis metal and counter ion that's why metathesis on the other hand when you are taking organoboron compound in presence of base it form a boron borate ion like this and then it participate with this palladium car palladium species to give a new species and this process is called transmetallation uh, because this or is transferred here and a aryl group is transferred to the this metal like palladium metal so this process is called transmetallation and while it is happening palladium losing one ligand so that's why you can see l minus n minus one ligand and here one ligand is free 
and still the palladium oxidation state is 2 and now it is the final step so the initial aryl group and the these aryl group from the borate is connected here with the palladium and now palladium will palladium and this ligand will accept one more ligand to convert to its zero zero oxidation state and in that process it will accept two electron so gain of electron is reduction so that's why this process is called reductive elimination and by this reductive elimination it will give you the aryl aryl new bond compound so accepting one ligand by reductive elimination it form aryl aryl bond and palladium catalyst converted to its original state that's why it is a catalyst so there are some advantages and disadvantages of this reaction let's see what are the advantages so this is the mild reaction conditions and commercial availability of many boronic acids the inorganic byproducts are easily removed from the reaction mixture making the reaction suitable for industrial processes boronic acids are environmentally safer and much less toxic than organo stenance uh, you can see in the steely coupling i will make a video on steely coupling you can see there starting materials tolerate a wide variety of functional groups and they are unaffected by water the coupling is generally stereo and residue selective sp3 hybridized alkyl borens can also be coupled by the bor boron alkyl suzuki mura miura cross coupling now we can see the disadvantages of these reactions um, so generally aryl halides react sluggishly byproducts such as self-coupling products are formed because of solvent dissolved oxygen coupling products of phosphine bound aryls are often formed since the reaction does not proceed in the absence of a base side reactions such as racemization of optically active compounds or aldol condensation can occur so these are the things about the suzuki coupling reactions i think you will learn better from this video and if you like this video please subscribe my channel and stay connected uh, to get new video on new chemical reactions as well as new chemical synthesis in the lab thank you for watching bye now